I'm Anson. Wow, it's so big. So this factory owned by Hijetsu Corporated Limited is considered to be one of the biggest factories nationwide. Today, we were all on a field trip to a factory. At this factory, we specialize in making and modifying metal parts, using top of the line factory equipment and heavy machinery. We are one of the most renowned national factories. However, I didn't understand any of what was being explained to me because... Hmm. Oh, uh... Because I'm completely deaf in both my ears. Ah! My name is Kotonofuwa. When I was in elementary school, I was involved in a traffic accident. While initially in the hospital, I was between life and death. But miraculously, the doctors were able to keep me alive. However... Huh? Dad? Mom? What are you two saying? After I woke up, the first thing I saw were my parents just moving their mouths the whole time without saying a single word. I can't hear what you're saying. It wasn't just their voices that I couldn't hear either. I couldn't hear the door or the cars passing by outside or someone walking around or the wind. Why? Why can't I hear anything at all? Sound had completely disappeared from my life, just like that. It was a lasting complication from the traffic accident. My brain was damaged from the accident, and as a result, I was diagnosed with sensorineal hearing loss in both of my ears. I was given a special rank by the country as having a certified handicap. I had lost so much hearing in both of my ears that I could barely hold a conversation, even through the use of hearing aids. However, my parents wanted me to live strong and bravely, so they continued to send me to a regular school. At first, life was pretty difficult, but a lot of my friends helped me out, so I was able to really enjoy life without many complications. At the moment, I'm in high school now, but everyone around me understands the handicap that I deal with and have been treating me with care and kindness. Good morning! I normally talk to everyone in my class using paper and pen like this. Today, we were all going on a field trip to the factory, and everyone was supporting me just like they always do. They said over here next! Come on, let's go! I was lucky to be blessed with incredibly nice classmates. I was happy. However... Alrighty, thanks, Anton-san. You really helped us out so much. I'll take it from here. Whoa, hello, sir. This is a job that was assigned to me. So, uh, where were we? So, this factory, owned by Heijetsu Corporation Limited, is considered one of the biggest factories nationwide. At this factory, we specialize in making and modifying metal parts, using top of the factory equipment and heavy machinery. We are one of the most renowned national factories. I literally said that a second ago. I had no idea what anyone was saying to us while we were all looking at things inside of the factory. There were limits to writing things down and talking to people to see what was going on, and I also didn't want to keep bothering my classmates. So I decided to go to a classmate that knew how to sign. Ah, uh, what do you want? His name was Taiki Konomikan, and one of his family members had a hard time hearing, so he learned how to sign. I would occasionally ask Taiki Kun to sign for me so that I knew what was going on. Uh, again? I don't wanna! It's too much freaking work! Uh, I'll do it. What the hell is that attitude? You shouldn't be such a dick! Just translate for her already! That's right! Why wouldn't you help her out in time like this? Um... I was pretty annoyed that day. My grandma was hard of hearing, so I was forced to not go out often and stay inside to study sign language often. Why am I always having to stay inside? I was able to sign, sure, but I didn't learn because I wanted to learn at all. However, it was just my luck because I ended up in the same class as someone who was deaf in high school. Damn it! And this girl constantly asks me to be a translator whenever she wants help. Who the hell do you think you are? Order me around like that. If you say no, then all the other guys in the class start throwing a huge temper tantrum. 
you freaking virtual signaling pricks. Then how about you guys remember sign language to help, huh? There are many buttons that you can't push in the factory. Make sure you don't touch anything that you can see and keep your hands to yourself. I've got it. <laughs> in that moment, I came up with a great idea. I wanted to make sure that she could never come to me to ask for help ever again. As it was really annoying. Uh, this machine is called a gantry gate type machine, and it can punch holes and carve metal. Taiki Kun was translating what the factory manager was telling me by signing the whole time like he normally did. I see. It was so much faster to understand sign language than it is to try to write everything down, so I was incredibly grateful for what Taiki Kun was doing for me. All right, up next is this massive hydraulic press. Whoa, it's so massive! So cool! This hydraulic press can push down with a force of over 1,500 metric tons and can squash a bicycle down to a piece of paper like it's nothing. Also, just so you know, there are employees working on the press today, so you do not, under any circumstances, touch anything around here, especially buttons. Do not press anything! You're literally going to turn my employee into a flat piece of mush! No one's gonna push the button, right, guys? <laughs> it seemed that everyone was talking about the red button that was on the wall right next to me. Then, right at that moment... Push that button. Taiki Kun signed to me to push the button. Apparently, the factory manager is asking me to push the button for us. Hmm? He wants me to push the button? I checked with Taiki Kun time and time again, but Taiki Kun just kept answering with yes. Why would he want me to push a red button on the wall? I was a little unsure about this, but the factory manager had asked me to push the button, so I moved towards the red button. And in one sweeping motion, I pushed the big red button. Right at that moment. What's going on? Huh? The, the press is... Oh my god! Hey! Run away! Run! The massive press began to operate and the hammer came slamming down directly above the employee. Uh, wait, hang on! What? Huh? Well, what's going on? Why is the press... I didn't understand what was going on at all, so I looked over towards Taiki Kun. Taiki Kun looked like he didn't have a clue in the world. And then... Uh! Ah! The employee ended up getting stuck in the press as it slammed down! Because of the button that I had pushed. Huh? Ah! Ah! But, but uh, my employee! What the hell have you done? I could tell that the teacher was screaming at me, but I had no idea what he was saying. I could tell that everyone in the factory was shaken up. They were all staring at me. The button that I had pushed was a button that I was not meant to press. Because of me, one of the employees had been caught in a massive hydraulic press machine. I quickly wrote out that I was framed, but... It's not my fault! Don't you freaking blame me! Taiki Kun was doing everything he could to put the blame onto me! It's this prick! She's the one that just pushed it without hesitating. I told her to stop, but she just wouldn't listen to what I was saying. At this point, there was nothing that I could do. Kotane-chan couldn't hear at all. She didn't understand what the factory manager was saying. No, you don't understand. Katoni chan was... Uh... She can't hear? Did you just say that she can't hear anything? Why the hell is there a deaf person wandering around in my factory? No, um... But whatever. Get an ambulance over here right now! We need an ambulance and raise the press already! It might be able to save him still. The press was once again operated to lift it up, but... How could this have happened? And to me while I was supervising? But... 
what's going to happen to me? I had completely lost hope over the severity of what I had just done. I was already a huge burden to my parents and had caused enough headaches for them, but... I'm sure we were going to be sued for so much what I had done here. And why wouldn't I? It's all my fault for not being able to hear. Then, as the press was lifted back up into the air, we saw... Huh? The employee wasn't there at all. It was just a hat, completely squashed under the immense pressure. What the heck is going on? Was he pressed so thin that we can't even see him anymore? Then... I'm right here, guys! Huh? huh? Sir, I told you that today was the inspection day for the press! Huh? It was? Did you? Apparently, today was when the press was scheduled to be looked at for maintenance, so a lot of the bits and pieces were taken out. The employee was lucky enough to be able to push himself into the mold and was completely unscathed. Thank God. I can't explain the amount of relief that I felt after seeing him in that mold. And right at that moment... Oh, I saw the whole thing! Ah! Huh? Tanaka-kun, a classmate of mine, yelled something at the top of his lungs. I think. Daiki Kun was lying to Katoni Sod, citing things that weren't being said, and he told her to push that button. Huh? Why the hell would you all know that? Well, because, uh. I'm also learning how to sign recently. I just thought that I could help out with Katoni Sod, and. Uh... Apparently, Tanaka Kun was covering for me. You little. Shut the hell up! Then, a furious Taiki-kun began to wildly swing towards Tanaka-kun. Uh, right at the next moment... Stop that! Uh, One of the employees, Anton-san, was able to stop him in his tracks and keep him restrained. Damn it! The whole horrible series of events was brought to light, and Taiki-kun was immediately expelled from school. Afterwards, everyone started to work hard to learn sign language to be able to communicate with me. This means I understand, and... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was super thankful for all of my lovely and kind classmates. Thanks for watching, everyone. Come back again for more, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.